Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an OU match. This one is against Thunder Blunder. And uh, we had a bit of a blunder. He, I guess, closed his uh, tab or whatever. So he had to, like, re-meet. And it was fine because I was still, like, picking my team. And by the time I was, like, literally just about to add him kind of thing. And he did that. And I'm like, okay. And then he comes back. And I'm like, all right, now I'm ready. So uh, it was kind of cool. But in this battle, I pretty much have, like... A hyper offensive team I guess if you want to call it that it's not really synergized or whatever but I'm using cloister because I kind of want to and I haven't used it in like forever I don't think anybody's used it in like forever people used to use it all the time oh my god chill smash it's so good and then now it's never used but and I was leaving my hydragon I figure if he's focus sash he'll probably stay in and might go for rocks and if he goes for icicle crash not a big deal whatever not really too uh, interested in saving Hydreigon because yes it is specs but it's like he's got stuff to kind of take all of his attacks. I'm going to go for Surf. He's going to switch to Heatran which would be good because he resists both my stabs and you know the juicy fire blast but I went for Surf kind of predicting that but also kind of saying if he has thick fat Surf will do more than fire blast plus I don't want to miss and kind of thing like that. So it ended up working out really well. I know he's going to switch to Virizion or his uh, Blastoise. Both of them are kind of handled by Gengar. That's what I'm going to do. He's got the typical Frizion name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I go for Hidden Power Fire. He goes for Calm Mind. I go for Hidden Power Fire again. It doesn't kill him because he got the, spe the special defense increase. Uh, he's going to go for the Giga Drain, which does quite a lot of damage considering I resist it, but it is plus one and I'm a Gengar. I'm not, like, I have, like, 50 defenses or something like that. So it doesn't really matter. But I kill him. He's going to go into his Mammoth Swine. I'm going to switch to Cloister because I know he's going to Ice Shard. I kind of want to go to... My uh, Metagross, because I was fairly sure he wasn't Focus Dash, but he's Life Orb instead. And I didn't want to take that chance and have him like smack me with an Earthquake. And that'd be kind of annoying, even though not necessarily would happen. But anyways, I go for Shell Smash. I know I have enough defense to take his Earthquake because he's faster than me. And I get the Shell Smash up, and that's going to increase all my stats. I figure here, again, he might be Thick Fat, so Rock Blast should be able to kill him anyways. Icicle Spear would also be neutral, but Stab, but it could be resisted again if he has Thick Fat. And uh, I don't have Surf. So, yeah, but I miss, and that sucks. I, you know, I want to use Cloyster, and then he ends up doing absolutely nothing. So, now I do what I, like I said, probably could have done before. I'm going to Metagross, just a speed with my Choice Scarf, smack him with a Meteor Mash, and then he uh, goes bye-bye. Now he's going to switch into his Victini. I'm glad he didn't go to Heatran, because that would have been bad. But now that, you know, all he has left is things that are fairly... Well, I mean, I guess he still has Salamence. Yeah, never mind. Uh, I was going to say I could just spam Earthquakes, but... One of his four guys remaining still do that. But um, I'm going to go to Gengar. He's going to get a crit U-turn, which did matter. Even if he's Adamant Bandit, I should still live that. And it would have been crucial information for me to learn. Um, but you know what? I'm going to take advantage of the fact that he killed me on U-turn. So I'm going to go out to Raikou to Hidden Power Ice. He's going to make the good play and switch out to Heatran. I don't mind too much about losing the 10% health, 10 health from Life Orb. rather. So it's whatever. But I'm going to go for Thunderbolt, and that's going to easily kill him. Well, not easily, I guess. It was. It probably would have been kind of close, but it was comfortable. Um, so I'm going to switch it to Metagross on the off chance that he U-turns, but I'm pretty sure he's going to V-create. I don't really need Metagross that much. I mean, he'd be nice against his Salamence, but Salamence also has Earthquake, so it's like... Whatever. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go to Hydreigon here. He's locked in, and uh, if he's... Banded, he's slower. If he's Scarf, then he's not going to do any damage anyways. So go for Dragon Pulse because it hits like everything. I could have gone for Dark Pulse too, but Dragon Pulse is a little stronger. I didn't want Blastoise surviving a Dark Pulse. Like It, it might have been a little close, but uh, not that big of a deal. But anyway, so I kill his Blastoise fairly easily, and Salamence is going to come in. I figure if he wants to Dragon Dance, because I know... Because he knows that I know that he's faster, unless he's adamant, which would be weird. But, um, yeah, so figure stay in, go for Dragon Pulse. If he does Dragon Dance, then it's like he dies. If he doesn't, then he's screwed, because Raikou is still faster than him. So, that's what I'm going to do. He does Outrage, which is actually nice, because that means he can't switch out. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, and that's going to e easily take out this Salamence, because Quad Weak and Life Orb and Max Special Attack, all that stuff. Now he's got his last, which is his Victini. Um, I know that he's scarfed by this point just by how he's been behaving. So I'm going to switch out to Breloom because even with a speed drop, he's not going to outspeed a scarfed Victini. And um, yeah, that's 
that's fine. Breloom dies, but he doesn't die for no reason because he does get his uh, speed and defense drops, which means Raikou A outspeeds and B will be able to take him out with the Shadow Bolt, which I do have, and is stronger than Thunderbolt, so I go for it. I mean, I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt would have killed him anyways, but might as well be as, you know, using the strongest attack I have, and that's what I did. And uh, he ends up falling to that mighty Shadow Ball, and... Yeah, so like I said, I mean, I wanted to use Cloyster, I haven't used him in forever. He ends up uh, kind of being useless. I have Ice Shard as his last move on him, just because, like, Mock Punch used to be popular and things like that, like Conkildur and stuff, but I should probably put Surf, just because when you have plus two, yeah, your special attack's uninvested and it's not that great, but it's still, like, 400 or whatever, and it's stabbed, so... It would have helped against that Mammal Swine and would have probably let me kill another one or two of his things. I don't know if Victini would be faster. Scar Victini is pretty fast. I don't know Cloyster's speed off Hannah, but I'm thinking it's like 50s or something like that or 60. So I don't know, probably not. Victini probably would have just revenged me. But I still would have killed Mammal Swine and that would have been great. I wouldn't have had to risk, you know, going in with Scarf Pokemon when he's got a Heatran and all that things and stuff. But either way, it ended up working out, and uh, that was uh, the OU match. Kind of cool to see, you know, not normal-ish, I guess, Pokemon. I mean, like, Virizion and Blastoise and Raikou, Victini, probably a little more common than the rest of those. Um, Cloyster, of course, and uh, who else did I have? Um, Metagross. There we go. Metagross is not too common. Um Although I do like him. He's a cool guy. I mean, Trick Scarf, Stealth Rock, Meteor Mash, and Earthquake. That's a pretty nice set. I like it. And that's what I was running. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will uh, see you next time. And for those paying attention at home or that can read a number above, I'm really close to being at uh, one year of dailies. So I'm looking forward to that. And I hope you guys are too. So peace.